it's late. I am sweaty from yard work today and tired. And I just got out of a D&D game with my regular group. But if I don't speak up about the whole fire mic... Mi fire mic meals thing um, and do it soon... Uh, then the then the moment will have passed, I think. So Mike Mills is a developer on D and D. He was uh, much more publicly involved and um, instrumental in in Five E in the past, and he's apparently surged back into notice in in that field. And this has upset a lot of people. Why are they upset? Meals has expressed a few largely milk toast uh, opinions um, that the kind of woke scolds and so on cause more problems than they solve. He's probably right on that score, but the main thrust of everything seems to be guilt by association because Meals was somewhat instrumental in bringing the RPG pundit and Zach Smith on to consult on 5th Ed D&D. And that's apparently completely unforgivable. Uh, so uh, there's, a bit, there's a bit more to it, I suppose, but that seems to be the main th thrust of it. So uh, pundit, we've got our differences and our issues I'm not sure that I'm going to continue any association with him at this point due to the way he's been acting around the coronavirus because, you know, actual lives are at stake there. It's not just a difference of political opinion and so on. But he's not a Nazi, which is what some people are saying. Um, yeah, and he's entitled to a degree of privacy in his, in his life. So people going digging up stuff is a bit off, especially if they're complaining about harassment. Zach's always been a controversial uh, figure. He used to do a sort of a, a blog and uh, a video vlog thing called D and D with porn stars. Uh, Zach's an occasional porn star and artist, and he used to play games with his girlfriend at the time and a few other porn stars and so on. This upset a lot of people. <laughs> the kinds of people you'd expect for the kinds of reasons you'd expect and Zach was extremely defensive of his game and his friends and his players and, and himself and he did take it to a somewhat obsessive degree um, in my favour a couple of times I had a falling out with Zach so you know I don't get any any benefit from standing up for him either. I'm not really standing up for Zach. I'm not really standing up for Mike Mills. I'm not really standing up for Pundit. I'm standing up for principle. Of course, the, th the accusations got worse around Zach. He got accused of uh, rape and various forms of sexual abuse uh, by his ex. But these were just accusations, right? Someone should be considered innocent until they're proven guilty. As of yet, there has been no conviction or anything of Zach and in fact he's successfully sued for defamation for someone going around saying that he had done these things so I would be careful about throwing these accusations around so what's this got to do with meals well almost nothing the th main thrust of the complaint seems to be that meals somehow was enabling Zach's harassment. From my point of view, I think Zach got a lot more harassment than he ever dished out, but he was monomaniacal about chasing down anyone who said a bad word to um, to him or any of his group. You know, and that's kind of fair enough to an extent. I've been on the on the receiving end, so I understand that. Um but the main thrust of the accusation seems to be that he somehow enabled Zach's abuse. Um, now, Zach has a blog about this. This is how unprepared I am. Um, but I just need to get something out, right? 
Um, now D and D distanced themselves from Zach when these accusations came out, as is politic in the current sort of situation and state of life that we're in. But the main thing seems to be the this idea that Mills handed over a list of the people who had horrible things to say about Zach to Zach. Zach contests that interpretation uh, on official zannouncements.blogspot.com. You can find all this uh, that this uh, this kind of idea that Mills handed over the names. Um, that Zach contests that that interpretation. Uh, according to Zach, what happened was Mike and he were casual internet acquaintances. He liked his blog. Soon after the development of 5th edition was announced, he contacted Zach and asked him to be a paid consultant. Zach read drafts, exchanged long emails with Zach about the new edition, got paid to do it. Never playtested the game. Uh, the pe same people that had been harassing Zach and his, his players and his group for a long time um, started going after them again because of his involvement. You know how this goes. You say boo to a goose in in 2010, and people are still giving you shit over it in 2020. You know, I've been on the receiving end of this. I know. D&D uh, &D had to have some kind of response. Zach suggested some of the people that ha that might have been saying things or looking to harass him. This is where the confusion seems to come in. According to one side, Meals handed over a whole bunch of names and the sort of unredacted emails and, and Twitter handles and so on. According to Zach, he'd already fingered a lot of these people as being the source of the problem. And that's pretty much it. So this whole thing to fire Mike Meals from Wizards of the Coast and D&D &D purely seems to be this questionable possible potential handing over or what seems more probable is confirmation of who was starting shit around Zack and, and that's pretty much it and his sort of tr transitive guilt his guilt by association uh, with, with Zack and Pundit who haven't <sighs> Pundit's got his issues a lot of it's that he plays a kind of online character as a bogeyman he hasn't really done anything too awful just the, the more recent stuff is beyond the pale for me, but people can differ. Um, and that's very specific. As for Zach, we've got these accusations, but we've got no conviction, we've got no proof. We've got a lot of stuff on Zach's side because he does have this monomaniacal way of going about defending himself. And we have had a, had a court test with him suing someone. But none of that really has anything to do with meals. But this seems to be the the entirety of people's issue, and there's really fuck all there to go on. So the principle here is innocent until proven guilty to steal man and to assume positive intentions uh, upon the behaviour of others. I think most people think there's more to this than there is, if I'm being generous. And I don't think Meals did anything really wrong, or at least it doesn't seem so. Perhaps unwise in confirming that some of these people that Zack suggested were the source of the problem were indeed the, the source of the problem. And Zack will have gone after them in the same monomaniacal way he's gone after all kinds of people. He's not blameless, but Meals is largely blameless. And this is a few years ago now as well. So... What explains all of this other than people not understanding and not being generous? I don't know. Uh, fire Mike Mills? No, he's not done anything to deserve being fired. I hope Wizards stands by him. Um, if he made a mistake, it was only in sharing what was already Zach's suspicions anyway. At least that seems to be the case. That seems to be the most plausible explanation. And I would remind you that Zach hasn't actually been convicted of anything. Nothing's been proven. You're a mob. You've got nothing to go on except outrage and numbers. So I, I can't support this. I've been targeted in the same way in the past, completely unjustifiably. 
so how can I do anything other than step in and defend that 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 principle? Not even any of the people involved, just the principle. How can I not? I mean, I know it's not going to do me any favours, but then most people seem to have this horrible opinion of me anyway. So it's it's no skin off my nose either way, and I need to I need to speak up and say this is wrong. You're harassing and mobbing someone who at absolute worst made a very slight mistake. Sang.